Hello everyone, my name is Josh and this is the Skype for Business Recap. It is Friday morning for once and I'm actually recording this and I hope to actually have it out Friday morning. Um, and uh, that'll be like the first time in months for that, I think, pretty much. A little crazy, I know. Uh, I'm trying to get this out early because it is a busy Friday in the community. There is a lot going on. Um, I might not get this out before the msuc.chat meeting starts. But let me harp on that one last time, okay? In case this does get out and you see this before that meeting. Uh, the monthly msuc.chat, which started in December, um, is going to be having its second meeting today, uh, January the 27th, 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time. So if you have not had a chance to participate in the first meeting, I strongly advise that you head over to msuc.chat and look how to join at this meeting. Hopefully you've already registered and have the link and have your calendar time blocked out, but it is going to be a great time. Pretty much just a uh, virtual Skype for Business user group, open mic style. People can join via audio, video, IM, or any combination thereof. And uh, we get to ask questions of each other, talk about what's new, a lot of back and forth, a lot of good laughs, a chance to meet people you might have only interacted with on Twitter or LinkedIn. Um, overall, just a really good time. So. Um, yes, that's happening today. Uh, before I jump into other things happening, I'll point out this is the um, travel trailer edition of uh, Skype for Business Recap today. And I have yet another imposter hat. So still no cowboy hat. Uh, that, that will be coming one of these days. Uh, but for now, I figured, hey, this, this old thing was uh, sitting around hiding in the closet around here. So let me go ahead and throw that on, right? You see, uh, just it's... Uh, it's like an unpopular stand-in for a late night show or something, right? You know, it's you don't have the regular host, and so you have to have this kind of subpar host, and it's not what you want, but you take what you can get. So anyway, uh, moving along. That being said, with the whole travel trailer edition thing, got a few dogs in here with me, maybe chewing on bones, shaking their collars, being noisy. So apologize for any background noise, all right? All right, that being said, let's jump over to the infinity screen, shall we? And pull up our browser. The next thing happening today is the Skype for Business video broadcast has another episode happening today. Um, and that is going to be taking place at, man, um, I want to say, I want to say that it's going to be at 12 Eastern time, 12 p.m. Eastern time, so 9 a.m. Pacific time. And so they're actually going to be kicking off this episode um, halfway through the msuc.chat. The cool thing about their, what they're doing is that they record it. So if you do happen to miss part of it or all of it, you can go back and watch it on this channel right here. This is their YouTube channel, their YouTube playlist on the Skype for Business channel. They've got a uh, number 34 videos so far. In, you, this latest video will be out there shortly after they're done, um, they're done recording and, and airing their broadcast. I think it's going to be on advanced analytics today. So it should be a good topic. Um, please make sure you check that out after after you uh, attend the msuc.chat event. And, um, and, and, and as always, they put on a good show, have good guests on, and have some of the most uh, fresh access to new content. So a very good um, show to keep an eye on for sure. All right, let's jump on over to 365.live. Okay, uh, for many of you, you might have previously seen what was known as the Skype show. All right, well, we have the last episode here, the Skype show, episode 12. Um, this was a monthly series put on by Mark Vale, uh, Office Servers and Services MVP, also known as Unified Vale on Twitter. And he had a monthly show uh, ranging from like an hour to an hour and a half in length, in which he had various guests on, mostly MVPs to, uh, uh, and, then, and then a few, uh, you know, vendor guests to discuss products or, or their own contributions or to talk in depth about a specific product um, or Skype for Business area. Uh, a lot of good episodes on there. I had the pleasure of uh, being a guest mid-year and uh, had a good time doing that. Um, he is starting a new, he's, he's kind of rebranding and putting a new spin on the Skype show. Um, he has rebranded to 365.live. And um, as he says here, welcome to 365.live, coming soon. Uh, the newest brand name for what was once called the Skype show, 
they are going to be, he says launching in March 2017, but then the first episode shows February 2017. So probably in February, we'll see something new. Uh, a brand new series focusing not just on Skype for Business, but the entire Office 365 ecosystem. Um, and honestly, that's kind of the way things are going. You, those of us that have been specialists and professionals in one specific area, we are having to gradually expand that skill set across the 365 ecosystem. So this will be a good show to kind of see how other pieces fold into the Microsoft UC environment. Uh, keep an eye out for this. Have a feeling it's going to be a very good show. And uh, best of luck to you, Mark, as you rebrand and uh, launch this new show. All right, next up, Mr. Anthony Carrigal, another Office Servers and Services MVP. He uh, has pointed out on Twitter and put a blog post out there that the audio codes IP phones are now certified for Skype for Business Online. This is not a super lengthy post, but it is uh, gets straight to the point, has a link to their... Uh, to their press release down here discussing the certification um, and a few uh, points about their phones. Uh, one, they have the ability to leverage the Silk protocol right on the phone. Uh, single vendor aspect for phones, management, and SBC slash ATA slash gateway hardware. Having one vendor is a big advantage for sure. Uh, very competitive price point, big deal for a lot of people. And their IP phone management suite, which is even available free for up to 500 phones. So all very good points and compelling points for considering audio codes phones. And now that they are certified for Skype for Business Online, an even more compelling story. So congratulations to audio codes and very good news for those of you that are um, considering audio codes and might have been held up by that fact. And a big thank you to Anthony for pointing that out to us. All right, next up, we have another, uh, a new tool that was uh, a new free tool put out on the TechNet Gallery this last week. Uh, let's see, it was published on the 24th um, and already has about yeah 57 downloads, looking like it's getting some nice ratings there. Um, that was uh, uploaded by Doug Rutledge, who works for Bridge OC. Uh, for those of you that were able to watch the uh, Skype 4B Spotlight episode I did, which I've kind of need to get back on the wagon with the Skype for B Spotlights. Um, but the first episode was with Bridge OC. And Doug was uh, was my technical guest on there to demo the product to us. Um, anyway, that's a little off topic. He has put this free uh, application out on TechNet Gallery for download. S4B switcher. So changing your Skype for Business profiles. If this sounds familiar, it's very similar to um, to uh, MVP Greg Sheridan's uh, bounce key tool that allows you to bounce between profiles as well. And so if we look down here, we we can see kind of what the interface looks like as you have a bunch of different um, profiles set up. And I'm going to go ahead and I, I downloaded this just to give it a little uh, little spin here. So let me pull this up. Um, the one thing I have noticed here is that when I'm logged in with like my, my work, which is an on-prem uh, environment, when I'm logged into that profile, I see status and I see, um, I see all the different uh, pictures that come with the different profiles in there. When I log into a, my uh, Office 365 tenant accounts, I'm, I'm not seeing the status or the um, picture for those accounts, but no big deal. Uh, all the other functionality is, is is there still. So as he points out in his post, a very quick and easy tab for adding a new user profile on the fly. Put the information, the sign-in address, password, domain user. Hit this, and it adds it down here really quick. Um, over here, you can edit each profile and then delete it if you don't want it anymore. Um, and then simply clicking. Right now, I'm, I'm signed into, if I pull up my... Skype for Business client, I am signed into my Get CS Josh uh, account here, which is Office 365. Now I'll click on this msuc.chat profile. You can see it says logging in. The client is actually signing out. The client um, it finishes on the Skype for Business uh, S4B switcher side. And then momentarily, the client actually comes up and is signed in to the new profile. Um, it takes a few, a few moments to get that done. But gives you your status down here. If you've got a ton of profiles, you can search for them right here. I've only got three at the moment, um, but he says there are unlimited profiles supported in this, so that's pretty cool. 
as you can see, it's logged me in now. Very nice. Um, and then at the bottom, we have a few more options here for your menu items. Um, there is a link to the website. There is a check for product update down here. And then this allows you to tweet about the uh, the product, which I did that earlier. And uh, it's handy being able to just give some feedback to the world through Twitter right from the app. So um, it was a very clean install. Um, uh, Doug did a very good job designing the interface. It's, uh, it's very smooth. Um, haven't found really any issues to complain of here. So Doug, thanks for putting the work and effort into building this. This is certainly a very great and useful tool. Um, and, um, and and those of you that are, are interested in such an application, you can head on out to the uh, TechNet Gallery where Doug has put it, and you can download it here free. Feel free to leave some feedback on the Q&A or, or ask questions if you got them and rate it. Let them know what you think about it, okay? Um, I will put the gallery to this in the description for this YouTube video. So, good stuff. Thank you, Doug. Last but not least, for sure, because this has been talked about and blogged about repeatedly, the Skype for Business 2016 on Windows consultative transfer. Okay, this was talked about quite a bit, and uh, Tom Arbuthnot, as far as I know, another Office Servers and Services MVP, and the one to have started up the MSUC.chat group, um, I think he was the first one to have blogged about this. He uh, pointed out a colleague of his uh, noticed in the uh, earliest uh, channel available for the uh, office the office clients. Um, he noticed that the uh, new button for console transfer was there, and he blogged about it, showed it out there. Um, you know, it's public public access and everything. So he was like, all right, let's let's point this out and and get our thoughts on this, get some thoughts from the community. Very excitedly did the rest of the community respond to this. And then shortly thereafter, we see this blog post come out and uh, Microsoft officially acknowledging that, yeah, we're, we're pushing forward in this direction. So many people are very excited to see not just the possibility of this, but the confirmation that this is coming. Very cool stuff. So um, I, this is a link to the techcommunity.microsoft.com article in which Richard Schwendeman, um, I hope I pronounced that right, but in which he uh, he wrote this blog post detailing pretty much what we saw from Tom the other day, giving us a walkthrough of how it works and what the experience is like and all that good stuff. So, um, yeah, no, good info there. Please check it out. Please read more about it if you haven't heard about it. It's going to be a handy, nifty new feature to have right there in the Windows client. Um, I presume, given the first-class citizen nature that we've heard about with the Mac client, and we'll probably see that in the Mac client at some point soon here. Um, but uh, no, no word on that yet, as far as I've seen. So, all right, good stuff. Let's hop back over to my Infinity screen and pop over to the full video screen. All right, guys, that's all I've got for today. Uh, pretty fairly short to the point uh, video. Uh, time to get ready for the MSUC.chat um, meeting that is coming up here in about oh, 35 minutes. I hope I see a whole lot of you there. And um, if I do not, then hopefully you will take note, look into it, and we'll see you in February there. But uh, yeah. All right. Good stuff. Guys, enjoy your Friday. Be safe this weekend. And I hope that I will get another video out on time next Friday and that you will be here watching it. Thanks. Adios.